everybody. My name is John Moore. This is my first uh, podcast for iAccessibility. Although I hosted my own podcast for many years that some of you may remember. So today I'm going to be demonstrating the Olympus LSP4 digital recorder. Uh, this came out, I believe, last year. I got, I got mine... Um, late last year. I got my first one late last year and I had, I had to replace it a few weeks ago with another one, not because of anything bad, but because it was lost and has quite frankly never been found. I'm not going to go into very much about the recorder today. I'm just going to give you a basic idea of what it can do and take you through the menus, uh, but we're not going to go into a lot of advanced features today. Now, I have uh, three Olympus recorders. Um, I'm recording this one on. I'm recording this on an LS100, and then I have an LS14, and then I have the uh, LSP4. And um, I was not intending to have three. Uh, it just came about that way. I'd wanted an LS14 for years, and and I got one used, and and then the I could not resist when an LS100 be, was available, brand new, uh, it hadn't even been opened um, on Amazon. So I bought that recently. Uh, so I have recorders for different projects, but today I'm going to focus on the LSP4. The LSP4 is, to put it um, the best way, a DS50 with an attitude. Uh, if any of you remember the old Olympus DS50 that was um, popular, it, I think it came out in 2007, uh, with the uh, d detachable microphone and, and uh, things like that. Um, I think it was made for maybe one or two years. I don't know exactly when it went off the market, but I owned one, as, and I know a lot of people that owned one. This is basically a DS50 with an attitude. They took um, some of the best features of most of their recorders and put it into... Um, a slimline design that is it's about the size of the DS50 if any of you remember what the DS50 looked like I, I don't I'm not I don't know I'm not very good at giving exact dimensions so I'm not going to do that uh, here but it is a really small I would say it's about the size it's a little bit larger than a um, uh, cigarette probably that's probably the best way I can I have to describe it um, it is very um, small, uh, real skinny thing, and uh, it can easily fit in a pocket, very, very easily. Um, it's, a, it's a great unit. So let's start with a description of the recorder. So on the top we have the, the uh, trade mic, the three microphone system that made the LS14 what it was. So you have uh, two cardioid microphones on each side of an omnidirectional microphone in the center. Uh, this recorder is, re is rectangular, I might add. So um, the microphone, the cardioid microphones stick out the top. They're little, small, circular things. You can feel them. And then in the center, you have the omnidirectional microphone. Um, on the left-hand side, you have the uh, spring-loaded switch that most Olympus recorders have. You put it up. It's in the hold position. You uh, hold it down for a second to turn it on and, and uh, off. And below that, you have the slider for the USB connector. This actually has its USB connector built in. So when I slide this down, as you heard, the USB dongle popped out. And uh, so this, you, this recorder does not need a USB cable. Um, and uh, it is built in. Let me slide, and if you slide that back up, it gets out of the way. So that's really nice. On the top, right below the microphones, are the dis is the display. Um, below the display are three function keys: F1, F2, and F3. F2 is the menu button. Uh, I think F1 is is folder is the folder list. Um, that's not something I really play with. And like I said, we're not going to go into. I'm not going to go into a lot of the advanced features. Um, below that is uh, are the transport controls you have the um, 
stop button on the left and on the right you have the record button which is a little bit bigger and uh, below that is the navigation can is the navigation cross you have up down left right and enter and as you can hear they they have a nice click to them when you press them below that on the left is the erase button and on the right is the this recorder apparently has Bluetooth haven't figured out how to work it uh, so we're not going to go into that right now on the right hand side there is a microphone input at the top uh, it's an eighth inch external microphone input so for the if you have like binaural microphones or uh, different types of microphones and below that is a line in jack um, on the back is the battery door um, you have the well, you have a little speaker on top and then you have the battery door the battery door is uh, really easy you push you push down and back there's a little button and you push down and then you you pull back a little bit and the battery door opens um, the battery door does not come off uh, but it can be t uh, put out of the way very easily. Now, one thing I have to mention here, and that is um, th this recorder, in addition to having uh, internal memory, also has an SD card slot. And I actually had to get sighted assistance to help with this. The SD card slot is right above the battery. It's like under the door. Um, I, I literally could not find it tactily. I, had a, I literally could not find it tactily. I had to get somebody to try and find it uh and he go and uh, the guy that was helping me goes it's because it looks like an it looks like a micro sd card itself and so it's it's really hard to get in um uh, i i have heard it said that if you can get by without an sd card you should because it drains the battery i haven't had uh experience with very much battery drain because of it i've got a two gig micro sd card in there in addition to eight uh, eight gigs of internal memory that this recorder has, um, there's the LSP2, which has four uh, gigs of internal memory. Uh, sorry, you're um, hearing some you're hearing people out in the hall of my apartment uh, complex, my apartment building. Um, so um, the battery is it takes one AAA battery, and this recorder has the ability to charge. Um, nickel metal hydride AAA batteries. Um, it, it has a charging circuit, so you can hook it up. And So really, you only need one battery if you intend to um, uh, use it. And the battery life is, as on all Olympus recorders, very impressive. Uh, I don't know the exact uh, battery life that this has. I think it's, I think it's like 30 or 40 uh, hours of battery life on one. Uh, I have a nickel metal hydride AAA battery in there that I can just charge. I hook it up to my computer when I want to charge it and uh, charge it. Um, so th that this recorder has that going for it. It does uh, give you the ability to recharge the battery that's in it. Whereas the other Olympus recorders, at least the ones that I have, the LS14 and the LS100, you, the LS100 can, can charge its battery. Um, but the LS14 uh, cannot. You have to take the batteries out and, and get if you're like me you have an external charger <clears throat> so um let's get into the meat of this shall we i'm going to turn on the and by the way i'm going to close this podcast with a uh, recording that made on the lsp4 so you can hear what it actually uh, sounds like um oh whoops okay i'm very sorry i messed up earlier i did not mean to do that on the the jacks on the right hand side um the top one is the headphone input um and below that is the is the uh, built-in microphone input i am is the external microphone input i am really sorry about that i don't know why i forgot um i don't know why i forgot about that because i was just using it last night okay so anyway um no the only one that has a dedicated line in is the ls14 okay so um <clears throat> let's uh, turn on the recorder. You can hear what it sounds like. Now, I am not going to take you through initial setup, but I will say this. Unlike the previous uh, generation of Olympus recorders, we can set the clock independently. Uh, every function on this recorder has voice guidance, including setting the clock. 
So I'm going to turn the recorder on by, so I'm not going to take you through initial setup, but what's going to happen is that when you turn it on for the first time, you are going to get the um, uh, typical, the first thing you're going to get is, is it's going to tell you, please select the, the type of battery that you are using or something like that. And you use the up and down arrow keys on the cross to choose the battery. So you choose either alkaline or uh, nickel metal hydride, and then you press enter, which is the middle button on the D-pad or on the cross. And then it says uh, uh, to adjust the clock. You use the uh, up and down arrow keys to move between hours, like the you know eight, nine, ten, eleven. You use the left and right arrow keys to move between the different options, the different tabs. So you've got hour, minute, day, uh, hour, minute, month, day, and year. And then when you're done with all that, you press enter, and then it asks you if you want voice guidance, and you go to on and press enter if it's not already there. Uh, so that's what it's going to be like. Now, I will show you, I'm not going to actually set anything, but I'm going to show you um, what that is like by taking you into the menu itself. Okay, so let's turn the recorder on. Now, I don't have anything on here right now, so um, there won't be anything necessarily to hear from the built-in speaker except for the voice guidance. So let's turn it on, and I hope that uh, you're able to hear this fine. Okay, so we are at the home screen now. If I press the enter key, folder A. now I'm in the folder list. Let me press uh, F1 to get out of there. Home. Okay, uh, if I, and then if I was to, like, if I was to go into a folder here, folder a. if I press enter now, and, no file. and there, there aren't any files, but what you would do is you would go, you would go down through the file list and press the enter key on the one you wanted to play. Okay, let's press F1. That's the home button. We'll get out of there. Home. Um, I, I forgot. <coughs> Excuse me. I've used the LS100 uh, so much that I that I forgot that um, this that F1 was the was the home button because that it, it is on on the LS100. But all, the thing is, I am used to having a dedicated play button, and, and so that's why I did that uh, earlier. So I apologize. Um, and like I said, this one is it's more like the DS50 in its operation. Now, um, I'm going to take you into the menus real quick. And there are only... Uh, so we're going to... I'm going to take you through the different ones. So F2, which is the... Now, I might add that the function keys are tactically different. The F1 key has one dot on it. The F2 key has a line on it. And the F3 key has two dots on it. Uh, F3, I don't know what that is. So I'm not going to bother with that right now. See, it does something, I think, with Bluetooth, but I don't know exactly what it is. So I'm going to press um, I'm gonna press the F2 key, which is the menu key, and we're going to go into the menus real quick. File menu. Okay, now I'm going to take you down through the different uh, menu options, menu tabs first, before we go into them. So we're at the file menu. If I hit the down arrow... Record menu. Record. Play menu. Play. Display and sound menu. Display and sounds and device. File menu. Okay, so those are those are your five menu choices. Um, I'm going to take you through um, uh, each of them uh, at a glance. So if I press enter now on the file menu. Voice detection setting. Voice detection, that is if you want to record, like it, it's uh, speech recognition, I think. So if the recorder picks up a voice, it'll just start. I haven't played with it. That's a feature I don't really... Um, that's a feature I've never used. File lock setting. File lock. Uh, that allows you to lock a file so that it can't be modified. Sort by setting. Hold on. What was file. that? File. Sort by setting. I'm not sure. I am not sure what that is. I'm sorry. I'm hearing impaired too, so um, sometimes I can't understand this. File move and copy setting. Uh, move and copy. Uh, if you have an SD card, if you have a micro SD card, I'm sorry, you can move files between the internal memory and the SD card and vice versa. File divide setting. File divide. I think that allows you. You can split. You can split a file. Partial erase setting. Uh, partial erase. Trimming setting. Part trimming setting. Uh, trimming. Haven't played with this. Normalize setting. 
this you can normalize a file if you're in manual record if you want to manually record you can normalize your levels fade in out setting uh, fade in and out property properties it, that won't speak anything if you press enter on it i don't exactly yeah voice detection setting and then voice and then uh, voice detection uh we're back around to the top um so I'm going to hit the left arrow to go out of here. And I, I think that menu actually came up because I have a micro SD card in there. I think if you don't have one, uh, some of these I don't think are available. But uh, don't quote me on that, please. File menu. Okay, so I'm going to hit the down arrow. Record menu. And now we're on the record menu. This is one that I, uh, I think most people are going to be interested in. So I'm going to press enter. Uh, recording level, uh, if I go in here, auto. auto gain, that's what I use uh, for the most part when I use this recorder, or you have high, high middle, middle, low, low manual. and manual, so you can do it, uh, you can um, adjust it, I believe, by using the up and down keys on the cross, auto. and then auto. Uh, so you have the, the auto gain, and then pre uh, three preset sensitivities, and then the ability to adjust the levels manually. Okay, uh, let's go in here. Limiter setting. Uh, limiter, this has a limiter, um, like the LS14 and the LS100. If I could, and press enter here. Music. I have uh, two limiters, music and... Voice. Voice. Off. And off. Uh, I don't know why the music one is turned on, so I'm going to press enter and turn it off. Off set. Okay. And now I'm going to hit down arrow again because what it does is it, it takes you out of the menu. Uh, it takes you out of that menu and back into the previous level. So if I hit the down arrow. Recording mode setting. Uh, recording mode. So I press enter now. MP3 mode setting. Uh, MP3. Now I'm going to tell you what is going to attract people to this recorder uh, mainly, and that's in this menu right here. So it can do MP3. PCM mode setting. A PCM WAV and... Flack mode uh, for those that are fans of, of Flack. Now I use MP3. MP3 mode setting. And uh, so I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to take you through what is what is available. 320 kilo BPS. Now I record at 320. Uh, I, I I make all of my recordings now at at 320k. If I hit the up arrow. 64 kilo BPS mono. Uh, uh, 64k mono. Uh, 128K. 320 kilo BPS. And then 320. 64 kilo BPS mono. And then, and then that's the monaural. I don't want to change anything in here, so I'm just going to hit the left arrow. MP3 PCM mode setting. Uh, let's, uh, let's browse the PCM mode. 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bits. Okay, there's 44.116. 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bits. There's 24. 48 kilohertz, 16. 48k 16 48 kilohertz 24 bits 48k 24 88.2 kilohertz 24 bits 88.2 24 96 kilohertz 24 bits uh, 96k 24 uh you probably need a very high capacity micro sd card if you're going to record it 96 bit i don't know if you can do that with 8 gigs of with only 8 gigs of memory on a, a long file uh, i'm not going to change and then monoral. and then we're we're on uh, uh monoral wav uh low quality 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bits. And then we're back at 44.116. I don't want to change anything, so I'm going to left arrow out of here. PC, flak mode setting. Okay, and this is flak. Let's go in here. 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bits. Okay, there's 44.116. 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bits. Uh, 44.124. 48 kilohertz, 16 bits. 48k, 16. 48 kilohertz, 24 bits. 48k, 24. And then 88.2 and 96 kilohertz, 24 bits. And 96k, 24 bit. Monoral. And then monoral flak. 44.1 flak mode. Okay, setting. let's get out of there. And we're back at the menu. So I'm going to hit the left arrow again to back out of here because I, I prefer to record in MP3. Recording mode setting. And then I hit the down arrow. And, I, and let me say that when you set that up, that becomes the format that you record in. That's why I didn't want to change anything. So, like, if you go into FLAC and you choose, like, you know, 96K and you press Enter, set, you know, and it takes you out of, it takes you out of that. And um, so I, I didn't want to change anything in there because I've already got it set up. 
Okay, so let's hit down arrow again. Zoom mic setting. Zoom mic. Okay, this is um, this gives you the ability to digitally, uh, basically make the microphones sound why sound like they are at more of an angle or less than an angle that they are than they are. The microphones are are um, positioned opposite each other at forty five degrees, giving you uh, uh, ninety three degrees or ninety degree spec um, recording ninety degree recording spectrum. This setting, these settings here allow you to digitally swing them, as it were. If you used to, if you owned a Sony PCMD50, you know what I'm talking about, uh, where you could do it physically. You could swing the microphones around. That's basically what this setting does. Um, there's various uh, presets in here that you can do. Let's just go through here real quick. Um, I have it turned off. And then, um, so if I down arrow. Wide one. Wide Wide two. Wide two. Wide three. Wide three. And then, for some reason, that one doesn't speak. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't wrap. Okay, I'm sorry. It doesn't wrap. I forgot. Wide two. Wide one. Off. And then off. And then if I... Um, I, I think that deals with, like, making it... It deals with swinging it probably to 120 degrees, like, it digi digitally and ha making them sound like they're 120 degrees apart. If I go up... Zoom one. There's there's six zoom settings, uh, and we're not we're not gonna play with anything in here. So I'm just gonna hit the left arrow to go out. Zoom mic setting. We down arrow. Low cut filter setting. A low cut filter. Uh, you come in here and it's just off and on. Microphone select setting. Uh, microphone select. This gives you the ability to turn off the central omnidirectional microphone. So if I press enter here. Central microphone on. Okay, I'm, uh, for me it's turned on. If I down arrow, central microphone off, and then there's off. Central microphone on. Okay, and then let's just hit left arrow to get out of here. Microphone select. And setting. then hit down arrow. VCVA setting. VCVA. I am not entirely sure what this is. I know th I know this was on the DS50, uh, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Voice synchro recording. And then voice synchro recording. Uh, I think that is if you. Um, you can basically turn it into a speech recognition thing. So it start it starts when it detects a voice. I I think that's what that is. Again, that's something else I haven't played with. Recording scene setting. Recording scene. This is interesting. This will basically pre-configure the microphones to um, to do certain things. So basically, their recording scenes are like environments that you're in. Now, I have made some recordings using different scenes, but I can't share them because they are uh, confidential, uh, because they are, are confidential recordings. I work at um, American Printing House for the Blind, and I recorded uh, two things using uh, scenes, but I, um, like I said, I, I can't share them. But I'm going to take you through here uh, just to show you what's available. Okay, so off is what you, people will, would probably normally keep this on. If I hit the down arrow, lecture, lecture, conference, conference, meeting, meeting. I have used that one, and um, I used that one uh, when I recorded a particular presentation, and I think that it does a really good job if you're sitting towards the front of the meeting, uh, it, it, it did a really good job at picking up the speaker. The speaker was on my right and both mics picked him up. So, uh, it was, it was, uh, that was really, really good. Dictation. Dictation. Uh, remember this, that you, this does uh, inherit some stuff from the DS50. So it has a dictation mode. If you're, if you're uh, just dictating things to it. Noisy situation. This one I don't recommend people use, uh, the noisy situation. I uh, tried to record a Christmas party with it last year, and um, it it sounded terrible. Um, it basically gets rid of the bass, uh, or at least it sounds like it's getting rid of the bass and, and several other frequencies, and it makes everything sound very muffled and whatever. Not very good for... Uh, Recording in an, an amb ambient situation, if you ask me. Music. Music, uh, I guess for if you're hooking this up and you're recording, I guess if you're hooking up to a sound source or something. DNS. And I don't know what that one is. Off. And then off. So let's left arrow out of here. Recording, recording level setting. 
and we're back to recording level. So let's uh, let's left arrow out of here to get back to the top level. Record menu. Play menu. Okay, now we get to play. Voice playback setting. Voice playback. I am not entirely. Let me go in here. Off. And then on. Off and on. Off. I don't know what that actually does. Voice noise cancellation setting. Uh, noise cancellation. Well, uh, in playback, that should be pretty self-explanatory. Voice balancer setting. Uh, voice limiter. Off. Voice balancer setting. Or voice. Oh, balancer. Okay, I'm not sure what that is either. Playback mode setting. Uh, playback mode. If I go in in here. Recorder. Recorder. Music. Music. Recorder. Recorder. It, basically, what basically what folder do you want it to play? Like. What do you want it to play from? Because this this can also double as an MP3 player. Playback mode setting. Equalizer setting. Equalizer. Off. Off. Rock. Rock. Pop. Pop. Jazz. Jazz. User. User. Off. Off. It it's uh it, you know it has an EQ because like I said this can be an MP3 player too. Equalizer setting. Skip interval setting. Uh, skip interval. That should be pretty self-explanatory. Let's go in here anyway. Skip setting. Skip, reverse, skip setting. and reverse. Skip setting. File skip. File. Ten second skip. Thirty second skip. One minute skip. Five minute skip. Ten minute skip. File skip. And then the rest of it, and then the reverse menu is the same. Skip. Skip. Voice playback setting. And then we're back to voice playback. That that's a menu I have not messed with, so I apologize. I don't really, uh, I don't I don't play things on this recorder. So we're let's go down. Display and sound menu. Okay, now we get to display and sounds. Backlight setting. Okay, we have the uh, just like the DS50, we have the backlight. So if I press enter here. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five. Off. Off. Let me press enter. Off set. Okay, I turn that off because I don't need it. Contrast setting. And then, and then the contrast. This is the only part of this recorder that does not talk. However, the menu doesn't wrap, so if you don't want the... So, I just put the contrast at its lowest setting. So I press enter. Contrast set. Okay. And, uh, you know, that menu doesn't wrap, so you don't have to... And the, be the beeps, uh, so the beeps stop when you get to the top and bottom. So that's very handy. LED lamp setting. And then the LED lamp. On. On. Off. Off. Okay, I turn that off. I think the LED lamp is the light that's between the record and stop buttons. Beep sound setting. Okay, beep sound. On. On. Off. off. On. On. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to turn that off, but okay. Beep sound setting. I mean, I can see a sighted person maybe wanting to turn it off. Uh, but I find it uh, very handy, especially to know if you're recording or not. Language select setting. Uh, language select. English. English. Spanish. Spanish. French. French, Italian, Italian, Dutch, Dutch, Polish, Polish, Russian, Russian, Swedish, Swedish, Chinese, Chinese, Czech, Czech, Danish, Danish, German, English, German, and German. So those are the languages that those are the various languages that you have. Langu voice guidance setting. Okay, voice guidance. This is pretty important. So let's go in here. On and off setting. Okay, on and off. Guidance speed, volume setting, and volume, on and off, setting. and then the on and off setting. Uh, let's just—I'll show you how slow you can make it. Guidance speed five. If I hit the up arrow, speed one. Speed one, and then you can go. It goes. It goes one through five. Speed two. Speed three. Speed four. Speed five. Okay, so hit, let me hit the left arrow. And then there's the volume setting for the guidance. Volume five. Volume one. Okay, that's one. Of course, I can barely, you can barely, I can barely hear that. Volume five. And it goes one through five. Volume. Voice. Intro playback setting. Intro playback. That's that's if you want the uh, on-off sound to play. Off. Three seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Five second. Ten second. Off. Okay. Um, I don't exactly know what that is. Again, um, some of these I have not. Uh, some of these I do not use, and so that's. Um, I I hate to sound 
like I don't know, but there are features of this I don't use. I'm just giving you a tour of the menus. Intro playback settings. So I'm not sure what the intro playback thing is. I maybe it maybe it adds a buffer, I don't know. Speaker setting. Speaker. On. Off. Uh I wouldn't turn this off if I were you, uh, unless you're going to use headphones with it a lot, because it disables the recorder's built-in speaker. Speak backlight setting. And then we're back at backlight. Let's uh, hit the left arrow. Display and sound. Device menu. Uh, okay, this is the last menu. Memory select. Uh, memory select. So if I go in here. Internal memory. Micro SD card. Then the and then I I have a micro SD card in there so if I was to hit enter it would switch to the micro SD card if you don't it will say something like uh, no micro SD card detected or something like that memory select power save setting a uh, power save off uh, I have that turned off but you can have it shut off after anywhere from five minutes five minutes to off. one hour to one hour uh, and it is in five ten minutes. it is in increments of five. Oh, I'm sorry, it goes 5, 10, 20. 30 minutes. Wait. One, 30 minutes. Off. Okay, maybe it's 30. I'm sorry, I have a hard time understanding this sometimes. Power save. Okay, setting. so there's power save. Battery select setting. Uh, battery select. This is this is battery type, so let me just show you. I'm going to go in here real quick. Nickel metal hydride battery. Uh, nickel metal hydride is what I have in there, or you have... Alkaline battery. Alkaline. Um... So just uh, be aware of that. Uh, if you the charging circuit will not work if you have alkaline, uh, and it's not recommended you do that anyway. Uh, you if charge try to charge alkalines because uh, apparently it might ruin them. So let's let's get out of here. Time and date setting. Now this I'm not actually going to set anything up, but I am going to go in here and show you how this works. Okay. To adjust clock, set time by using plus minus and right left. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm going to do this because I need I need to set it forward. I need to set the clock forward an hour because this is uh, on all of my recorders, actually. Well, I'm not going to do it on the other two, but on this one because I can do it accessibly. So when we get on this, we are at... 10. We are at the hour setting. 11. 12. Okay, so I set it to 12. Set minute. And then set minute. Set month. And again, if I press the up and down arrows, the minutes will read. Set month. Month. Set date. Set year. Date and year. Set hour. They all read. So when you first get in this, you're on hour, and then you hit, I was hitting the right arrow to, to go between them. So I'm going to press enter now, because that's all I need to do. Time and date set. I set it forward an hour. Now let's go down, because we're back in the previous level of menus. Bluetooth setting. Bluetooth uh, I'm not this. I'm not going to go in here because I don't actually know how this works. USB setting. USB. Now this is this is a, this is kind of important. So I'm going to go in here. USB connection setting. This is what type of connection you want the record. You basically want the recorder to be detected as what you want it to use. So if I press enter here. AC adapter connection. Uh, AC adapter. This is basically like if you hook it up to a computer, the computer will charge it. And you can use the recorder, but it it's basically the same as plugging it into a wall. Variable. Variable, it will ask you every time what you want. PC connection. A PC connection, basically, as a drive. AC adapter connection. And then AC adapter. USB connection setting. Okay, let's go. We have one more option in here, so let's go down. USB class setting. USB class. Storage class. A storage class. That's if you hook it up as a drive. Again, if you if you have the if you set up the PC connection instead of the AC adapter connection, then you go down. Composite. Composite. You can actually use this as an external sound card. I uh, actually one time uh, when I was playing with my original, I uh, hooked it up to the computer as a composite, and Jaws started coming through the recorder's built-in speaker. It was uh, quite amusing. So let me left arrow out of here because I don't want to change anything. USB class setting. USB and then setting. I uh, arrowed again. Reset setting. Reset. You reset to factory defaults. Format. Format. Um, let me just explain real briefly how this works. So what you're going to do is you, you press enter here and then you choose 
uh, if you have a micro SD card, you can choose between internal memory and micro SD card. And what you will do, because it'll it'll say select start to begin formatting. So you're going to press the up arrow, and it'll say start. You press enter, and then you think that it's started, but it is not. You have to press the up arrow again, and it'll say start, and you press enter, and then it does that, and then it formats it. Um, so that's um, that is how you uh, format your memory. Memory information. Memory information. That'll tell you like how much you have left, I think. System information. And then system information, like firmware update, things like that. And you know, you, you press enter. You it, that that's a, that's the that doesn't talk. System memory select. And then we're back at memory select. I'm gonna hit the menu button to get out of here. And now we are back at the home screen. Now, uh, w one more thing before I uh, switch to the recorder itself. When you want to record, you press the record button on the top right. You heard it beep twice. That means that we're in record standby. If I press it again, we're recording. If I press the stop button, which is to the left of it, it stops. So uh, that is a uh, that's an explanation of how that works. And if you uh, if you want to play a file, you press enter on the home screen. You go here. No file. It says no file because I'm in folder A right now. So if I press F1. I am back at the home screen, and I went into record standby, so th the recordings that I make will be in folder A. It defaults that way. So if you turn it off, uh, the way you turn it off is you hold down that spring-loaded switch again, and you get that. I am now going to switch to the... Um, Olympus LSP4 so that you can hear what it sounds like. Now I use auto gain control. I will say that um, right, I will say that right off. Um, so you will hear that. Uh, but this is to give you an idea of what it sounds like with uh, in normal operation. <clears throat> okay, everyone, I am back. This time I am on the LSP4 recorder itself, and uh, so this is this is an idea of what it sounds like. I, I'm in a very very quiet room, so the levels are pretty, they're pretty low, um, because I've got everything turned off in my apartment. But this will give you an idea of what it sounds like. I may have to actually normalize this. Um, and uh, so hopefully this will give you an idea of what this recorder sounds like. If you want to uh, contact me, you can uh, send me an email, uh, johnm1642 at gmail.com. I am happy to answer any questions you have. I am also in the WhatsApp group uh, for iAccessibility, so you can find me in there and um, uh, send me a private message if you would like. And I hope that uh, all of you found this podcast informative. I know it, I pr it probably wasn't the best because I'm not very good at... Um, you know there were some there were some menus that I didn't know what they did because there were some features I just don't use and so I did I really uh, and because I have three Olympus recorders I forgot that this one actually didn't have a play button you you use the D-pad the or the navigation cross the way you did on the old DS50. Um, so I'm sorry about that. That was not it was not intentional. When you have three of them. It's uh, I can you can sometimes get the ones confused. So anyhow, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this and um, thanks for listening. This show has been brought to you by the IA Cast Network. We love hearing from you. Email us at feedback at iaccessibility.net. Got Twitter? Follow us at iaccessibility1. Facebook? Search for iaccessibility. Download our free apps for iOS and Android and keep up with all of our content at iaccessibility.net. If you'd like to donate to our show, hit the PayPal button on our website. Get early access to our outtakes with a donation at patreon.com slash iacast. Thanks for listening.